All right, again, everybody, we are back. Uh, second and final review of this Wednesday evening. As I promised, I just polished off the 2017 Great Lakes Christmas Ale. Going to keep the Christmas Ale spirit going here. This is a great one. It's the Fatheads Brewing Company. Uh, they're out, located out of Middlesburg Heights, Ohio. This is the Holly Jolly Christmas Ale from Fatheads. This is another great one. Uh, not as good as Great Lakes in my personal opinion, but still a great Christmas beer. Nothing wrong with this. I think it's one that you could definitely go to, and it's tr it's a nice beer. Uh, it says malt beverage brewed with spices and honey. Very similar to the Great Lakes, although this one does use some ginger. I don't know if the Great Lakes does not use ginger as well. It checks in at 7.4% alcohol by volume, 7.4. Little thing on the bottom here, it says, Once upon a frozen evening way up north, a sweet local honey named Holly inspired our jolly fat man as only Holly can to create this festive spice holiday ale. We think you will enjoy this holiday creation with its aromas of flavors of Christmas Day. Sweet malt, ginger, honey, and cinnamon spice. Sip this by the fire with your significant other. Who knows, maybe it will lead you to an, a little inspiration of your own from our jolly fat man to yours. Happy holidays. I've had this yeah, similar to the Great Lakes, probably not as frequently. Uh, maybe 2014, last three or four years. Uh, cool thing about Fatheads is they're labeling bottles as well, and this beer is not even a month old. 10-16, uh, day before my birthday, uh, 9.46 a.m. It was bottled up there in Middlesburg Heights. So Fatheads is a fine brewery. Uh, I really enjoy them. Uh, the for IPAs, they, they are killing the state of Ohio, really in the Midwest, and even on a national scale. I mean, Headhunter... When I talk about Great Lakes being consistent, Fatheads is just a that as well with Headhunter. That's one of the best IPs you're going to drink. Consistent, just great IPA. Hop Juju as well. The Juju comes out, grab as much as you can because that is an elite, elite IPA. And, you know, Fatheads does do a few beers. I've had a Hippie, hippie Stout, the Beam Me Up Coffee Stout. Uh, they did the Pit My Slayer a year ago. But they're just an IPA forward company to me. This is a fine beer. And, you know, the, the Bumbleberry Ale actually is a, a good, good summer beer. That is a good summer beer. So, uh, Fatheads is a fine company. I just don't think they make as many good beers as Great Lakes across the board. They probably have two better beers, you know, Headhunter and Hop Juju, that Great Lakes does not have. Those elite, but if you take 15 or 20 consistently good Great Lakes beers to two or three great Fatheads beers, that's where I'm going Great Lakes. Now, I love Fatheads, and I'm knocking them. They're a great company. I like the, I like the artwork, and I'm going to actually show you what I mean by the artwork on this. I've done a few Fatheads reviews, I think, the Spooky Tooth Pumpkin Ale. Which actually this year was really good. I feel like the pumpkin ales were less this year. A lot of breweries give up on them. In fact, dozens of breweries gave up on pumpkin ales this year. But that being said, I feel like the, there were so many good ones this year. Here's our Fatheads bottle cap. That's awesome. I mean, that's one thing Great Lakes did not do. That's the little things, though, that you do look at. Not knocking Great Lakes, but that is cool. You know, Fatheads has a different color and a different head for each beer they brew. So creativity there. I do have some Fatheads glassware just rinsed and cleaned out. No Holly Jolly glassware, but it is fat heads, and that will be just fine. So let's go ahead and get a pour here on this fat heads Holly Jolly, the 2017. This is another fine Christmas ale. Uh, upper echelon, there's the color here. Again, you see it coming out of the bottle, similar to the Great Lakes. Uh, similar to the Great Lakes, there's the pour. Did a pretty good job on that. You know, fat heads bottles are shaped differently. Is a great beer to spice up your holidays. Again, bottled on 10, 16, 17. I picked up this actually the single bottle, I think two bucks, $9.99. Not bad. A six pack is, I think, at 11. Uh, but again, I, I enjoy Fed, as like I said. I think they're one of the better brews in the state. You know, to me, the Northeast is ruling Ohio, obviously, Great Lakes, but you have Fatheads Brew Kettle up there, Hoppin' Frog. Uh, there's four alone. I mean, it's, it's, you know, we have some nice ones down here in Cincinnati and Dayton has a few. Jackie is out in Southeast Ohio and Athens. Columbus has a few, but I think when you look to dominant Ohio breweries, you're going to look at Akron and Cleveland continue to be the major player in the state of Ohio. So let's get a quick aroma and then we'll get this bad boy going. Yeah, it's similar to the Great Lakes. I mean, you're going to get ginger, uh, a lot of honey, uh, a lot of cinnamon, cinnamon honey, similar to the Great Lakes. And on all these Christmas beers, you know, there's just, they're just different amounts. All the spices, I think, are the same. It's just how much the brewer intends to use of each one. You know, Great Lakes may have 100, 
Great Lakes may throw in 70 pounds of cinnamon per, bar per barrel. This one may throw 40. They may throw 30. It's just going to be a, depending on what the brewer tries to use. But the spices are the same. Now everybody says, well, they're the same. They're not, though. Because I can tell you right now, the amount and, and what other, and some of them use ginger, some do not. Some use clove, like Dark Horse. Uh, there's some molasses in some. So I think you go, when you look at Christmas, you go three to four spices. You're going to get cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. Cinnamon, nutmeg, and honey are your main three. Uh, ginger and clove have been used in molasses. There's six total spices I've seen. Uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, and honey are the big three. And then you've got ginger, uh, molasses, and clove also in some selective brewers. But again, those amounts vary, which the beer varies. So uh, we'll try this year's Holly Jolly out. I think this is one of the better Christmas I've said this. To me, not as good as Red Lakes, but still, I think in a, if I rank Christmas out that I try, maybe 15, 20 a year, this was top five, clearly maybe even three or four. So let's say cheers to the brewers at Fat Heads for this fine beer and the fine work they do. And cheers to everybody who was ever watching. Happy Hump Day. Here we go. Yeah, see, this is not. It's a fine beer. Uh, I think it's good. Uh, but to me, the spices are not. It's, it's not nearly as good as Great Lakes. And I'm not knocking this beer. I think it's very serviceable. It's it's fine. It's drinkable. Uh, and I think it's a good beer. I'm going to rate it a B plus. Uh, it has some good cinnamon flavor. But I don't think there's as much flavor bursting. There's flavors in there. Uh, you can see not much lacing, yeah, slight lacing there. Uh, I think this is good, but doing these side by side, well, not side by side exactly, but in the past 45 minutes to an hour, I think the Great Lakes is here, the Fat Heads is here. And again, not knocking Fat Heads, not knocking this beer. This is a fine Christmas ale I'd go to, uh, but not on the Great Lakes Christmas ale for me. Another sip of it here again. I don't mean, you know, I think people. I get harsh critics because I'm not knocking. I like Fat Heads. I've said it. Fat Heads is a tremendous company. I like their artwork. I like the the IPAs they make. They destroy Great Lakes. But I just think if you look at the overall portfolio of beers, Great Lakes is ahead in my opinion. That's nice. I mean, there's a good good amount uh, of cinnamon and honey in there. It's a good beer. Like I said I had nothing wrong with it. I'm gonna rate it the B plus. I uh, really do like, I really do enjoy this. Uh, I, if you're into bottle caps, you start getting fat heads, the orange cap for pumpkins, you start getting, that's pretty cool. So, uh, B plus for me, like I said, a nice beer, a fine beer, and uh, nothing wrong with it at all, but not on the Great Lakes level, I have to say. So, uh, that's going to wrap it up for this Fat Heads 2017 Holly Jolly. Uh, cheers, everybody. We'll see you this weekend. We have Henderson Valley Pint Night. Uh, not my Fairfield Indian season's over. I have a couple of free Friday nights until basketball on December 1st. Uh, I've said three weeks. Uh, so, a couple of free Fridays to get back up at Jungles with, with high school football and stuff being out of the way. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for us, folks. And, uh, beat golfers tomorrow. If you're watching this, go two balls and a split. See you guys. Bye.